deadly CO2 gas is literally poisoning the astronauts with every breath in and out. Heads up, heads up. And people will not come in. Heads up, people, look out now. What's this? That's what they gotta make. Well, I hope you got the procedures for me. Right here. That's it? Affirmative, Andy. Uh, Jack's got one right here. Okay, we have a uh, an unusual procedure for you here. We need you to rip the cover off. I want you to rip the cover off the flight plan. With pleasure. All right, now the other materials you're going to need here are uh, a lithium hydroxide canister. You have two lithium hydroxide canisters. I'm sorry. A uh, roll of gray tape. Duct tape. A duct tape. You need an LCG bag. Two LCG bags. What about their level of carbon dioxide? It's uh, climbing. You're, you're saying that they're almost out of breathable air. No, wait a second. Wait a second. That's, that's not what he said. He said we're working. You want to cut the duct tape three feet long. I, I, Just use your arm. It's a good arm length. OK, Houston, I see what you're getting at. Hold on. OK, Jack. Tear that piece of tape down the middle lengthwise. All right. Hold on, Houston. While the astronauts appear to have enough oxygen to keep them alive, one thing they have too much of is carbon dioxide. With each breath, the three men expel more of the poisonous gas into the lunar module cockpit, and the scrubbers intended to keep the atmosphere breathable are quickly becoming saturated. <laughs> oh, I tore it. Uh, Houston, uh, what do we do if we uh, rip the bag? Can we tape it? They just tore the bag. Uh, uh, stand by. What you tell the bitch? Hold it. One more bag. But they've still got uh, a long way to come, and they are now working on their backup facilities, their emergency facilities, and the problem is if anything more goes wrong, they're in real trouble. since calculated, any since uh, any rescue system the space agency calculated 